All right, so keeping up with our latest tradition now of talking about free software that's very useful for everybody, we're actually gonna revisit a topic and a piece of software I talked about years ago. And by years ago, I mean it's it's probably been eight or nine years since I talked about this. We're gonna specifically talk about Tree Size Free, which is a free utility uh, that I forgot all about for the longest time until I did the Chris Titus Tech uh, Windows utility and saw that, hey, it's one of the utili uh, util util it's a utility that's listed on their software uh, list that you can just one touch install from within the Chris Titus Tech uh, utility. So I was like, hey, you know what? This would probably be a good thing to show people because it's free, it's easy, and it visualizes where your hard drive space is going. Today's video is brought to you by our brand new GPU Apocalypse 2.0 shirt, kind of immortalizing all of the stuff you love about today's GPUs. Our GPU Apocalypse 1.0 shirt was actually one of our most famous and popular shirts, and now it's re-immortalized with GPU 2.0. But well, let's face it, the Apocalypse never went anywhere. It just evolved, just like this shirt. Go buy it now. So you might be like, what's the point in this? Well, if you haven't been using like Revo Uninstaller, which is a utility we've talked about for a long time that goes and finds every trace of a program all the way down to registry files or registry uh, entries so that you can remove every piece and trace of, a, of, of software, a lot of junk gets left behind when you uninstall something from either the built-in uninstaller or going into the Windows uninstall apps uh, functionality. And the reason why they do that is they basically say, well, if they ever reinstall that software, we can have some of it already here, or we can have the remnants of it, or some of the files that may have been saved along the way, profiles, etc., to make it sort of like a quick, easy implementation of reinstalling that software and, and having it kind of pick up where you left off. But if you're like me and you're like, I'm done with this software, I want it off my system, I want every bit of that software off that system. So I'm using my rig here at work, uh, in my office right now, to basically show you what happens when you don't use Revo Uninstaller, which I didn't for a long time. So we're gonna use Tree Size Free uh, to basically go now and free up some hard drive space. So to get it, first of all, I'll try to remember to put a link down below, but uh, all you gotta do is go to Google, type tree size as one word, space free. It is by Jam Software. They are not sponsoring this video in any way whatsoever. Um, you can just click the free download button and it's just that simple. It will just install in Windows and then you're up and running from there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is when you run it, you're gonna to wanna to right click run as administrator because you're gonna use elevated rights to be able to remove files that might be in parts of the Windows file structure that require admin access. So make sure you're always running it as, uh, as an admin. If we take a look at my system, you can see I have two two terabyte drives and my C drive only has 545 gigabytes free and my local disk D or my second drive has a little over a terabyte free. So that tells me there's a lot of junk that is accumulated on this system and I wanna find out where that's at. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do a scan of my C drive. My C drive being my OS drive, if that kind of gets full and cluttered, it can kind of slow down and, and invade the entire like Windows experience. Now, if you're on a hard drive or any sort of spinner, this is even more important for you because as that spinning drive becomes more and more full, it will slow down as it has to go and find that data. So this is especially useful for anyone that's still running an old spinner drive. Hopefully you're not. I think, I hope by now most people have moved over to at least a SATA SSD. It is life-changing if you're still running on a spinner, uh, but I digress. So first things first, let's go to the scan function, select directory here at the left, and then we can choose our drives. So let's go ahead and do our C drive right here. And it's scanned very quickly because I'm on an SSD. Let me point out right now, if you're on a spinner and if you're on a big spinner, let's say something like a four terabyte, eight terabyte, or even bigger, this is going to take a while because it has to find the location of all of those files and it's very, very slow on a spinner. Now, SSDs are pretty quick. These are Gen 4 SSDs that I'm running right here, so they're, they're pretty fast. Now you can see right here, 540.4 gigabytes in program files and the x86 folder specifically. So that tells me right now, there's a lot of leftover files and things when it comes to uninstalled programs or installed programs. Um, you can see the next biggest file on the system or folder I should say is 313 gigabytes in the users. Now users is where you're gonna find like your documents folder, your downloads folder, your photos folder, your videos folder. And if you're running something like OBS, 
uh, the default capture location or save location for any of the videos that you might record within OBS is into the videos folder that's within the users. So that's telling me right there, I've probably got a lot of captures that we've done in previous videos taking up space in that drive. And then from there, we have 158.7 gigabytes in programs file, program files, the non x86 folder and then 136 gigabytes in Xbox games. That makes sense, that's probably because I do have Flight Sim installed on here as well as Forza, uh, Forza, Forza Motorsports. So those, that more than, that makes sense because that's gonna be where those games are, are stored right there. Even though they're Steam games, they save to their own folders too, like that. So uh, then you can see we got 99.4 gigabytes in games. I'm not gonna have a whole lot here when it comes to like Steam games because I put that on the D drive and that's why the D drive is fairly full. But we can still look for things in the D drive that don't need to be there. Um, we can see right here, we, ha and it, we have a lot of zero byte folders on here because even if the folder has nothing in it, it's gonna basically break out the folder structures and show you where they are based on size. So let's go ahead and start with that program files x86. Let's expand that. And you can see I do have Steam games installed on drive C. Even though I just said I put everything on drive D, that's because I'm not the most diligent at making sure when I hit install on a game that I select my secondary drive folder. So I have some games on C and some games on D, which is really stupid. Now, what I should do is migrate those games using Steam's util migration utility to move it from my C drive to my D drive. So all the games are on one drive, but I have not done that obviously, which is why you're gonna see this split. There's 352 gigabytes worth of games in Steam. Uh, I'm curious what games those are. So I can expand that take a look at the Steam apps, take a look at the common folder. I got Dirt Rally 2.0, Borderlands 3, Cyberpunk, BeamNG, Space Engine, Supermarket Together, 3D Mark, and then Besiege, Phasmophobia, Liftoff, Rocket League, uh, Steam Controller, LA Noir, Resident Evil 3, Halo the Master Chief Collection, and Resident Evil 7. Now you'll see a lot of those show only a few megabytes or even a few kilobytes of space. That's because when you uninstall the game, it will leave behind some traces of the game. So those games are all installed. What's actually installed right now is Dirt Rally, Borderlands 3, Cyberpunk, BeamNG, Space Engine, and Supermarket Together, and uh, 3D Mark. So that kind of makes sense, I guess. But I'm noticing something here. If I go back up to out of the Steam folder, I've got 91.7 gigabytes in World of Warcraft. Now here's what's funny about that. I have not played World of Warcraft on this system in a very long time. In fact, it even shows that the last modified file within that folder structure was 4.18.2024. And even then, I don't know how or why that is because I'm fairly certain I didn't even play Warcraft in 2024. But I can tell you right now, I've got almost 100 gigabytes of space sitting in there. Now here's what's funny about that. And this is a perfect example of why something like Revo Uninstaller is such an amazing utility to couple with this tool. If I do the start menu and I type world, only World of Warships comes up because that's the only world I've been playing these days. No World of Warcraft. In fact, is Battle.net even installed? Yes, Battle.net is installed because I was playing Diablo, not playing Warcraft. So it makes sense that Battle.net would be there. But that tells me when I uninstalled Warcraft through the uninstaller, it left a lot of crap behind. Now here's the problem. If I use Revo Uninstaller right now, I'm curious as to whether or not we'll even see World of Warcraft here Wow, Warcraft Orcs and Humans is on here. That's funny. Uh, anyway, I digress. I'm gonna go alphabetical order, go down to W. Yeah, the only, oh yeah, there's World of Warcraft right there. 91.64 gigabytes. See, this is where it becomes nice to use something like tree size to let it visually show you where all your files are because I had, I, I, had no idea Warcraft was still installed on this system. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Revo Uninstaller right now to uninstall Warcraft. So I'm gonna right click, uninstall, uh, make a system restore point, nah. Now we do have a video on how to use Revo Uninstaller. It's actually got a lot of views. It's a very powerful uh, uninstall tool. And so I highly recommend it. Now what Revo is gonna do is it's going to use the built-in uninstaller for the application. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scan for any traces left behind. So that just finished. I'm gonna hit advanced and then scan. Look at all the crap it's gonna leave behind right now. It is gonna leave all kinds of stuff behind in the registry and whatnot. So we're gonna select all. We're gonna hit delete, say yes. Found more leftover files, select all, click delete. Yes, 
and now World of Warcraft is off of our system. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do another scan or a refresh scan right now within tree size and we should see that disappear. So refresh. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Go back into program files. And as you can see now, World of Warcraft is gone and Diablo 4 is still sitting on there now with 82.7 gigabytes. So I just freed up 91 gigabytes of space on a game that I totally forgot was even installed in this system. There was no reason for me to even look for it. And what's funny is when I did the Windows search and typed world, World of Warcraft didn't even pop up. Sure, it goes through the battle.net launcher, but it also does get its own executable and its own desktop icon. So it's kind of funny that it didn't show up. If I typed Warcraft, it might've shown up. But if I go back to my disk now, you can see uh, 545 gigabytes refresh. We're now 633 gigabytes. And that only took me a couple of minutes to find that that was sitting there. Now, one of the things that can definitely build up in your system is temporary files and uh, other stuff that's just kind of stuck somewhere. So let's go ahead and go into the users folder. Action Station is the name of this system. If you can't tell, I really like World of Warships. Uh, expand that. And if we take a look at OneDrive, we've got 41.6 gigabytes in OneDrive. You know why? Because we use a third party to make our shorts and our chop down shorts when it comes to like Instagram and TikTok and stuff. And I use OneDrive to get them a lot of those raw files. I quite often forget to remove those files. Now, because OneDrive is nothing more than a folder, I have no problems deleting those files from within tree size. Now, here's what you need to be super careful about when it comes to tree size. Tree size has no discrimination. It will absolutely nuke any file you tell it to, including system 32. So do not just start willy nilly deleting stuff within tree size. You can absolutely break the system. That is one of the reasons why it gets elevated access so that it can delete stuff. And if you don't have elevated access, you won't be able to use any of the utility of tree size, at least not to the degree which it's meant to be used. So be careful. This is why I say if you see programs that exist that you don't want in your system anymore existing in tree size, then run over to Revo Uninstaller and in uninstall it that way. And then just refresh tree size. Use tree size mostly as just a visual representation of your drive ordered by size so you can find where your, 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 your gluttony or your waste is when it comes to your drive. Now, let's see if we can find some more junk here, shall we? Okay, so let's take a look at program files and see what other things we have in here. Obviously, there's Diablo 4, which we talked about. There's Microsoft, there's Epic Games. Epic Games is just the launcher in there currently right now. GOG Galaxy is in here. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can't find some junk right here. Those are the Adobe temp files. Now you'll notice some of these folders are like bright and some of them are kind of like dark or kind of transparent. That's because this can see hidden folders and hidden files. So if it's kind of dark like that, that means you're seeing a hidden folder or file and which we, if you went into File Explorer, you wouldn't see that. It wouldn't be visible unless you went into the properties and turned on viewing hidden files and folders. Um, let's see, there's the OneDrive temp folders all have nothing in them. We have eight, 611 um, megabytes sitting in the AMD folder. That's the chipset software and Ryzen master extraction. Interesting. But there's not a whole lot left really here to see. I mean, we've got 5.4 gigabytes sitting in the recycle bin. We can handle that from the desktop. Uh, but yeah, you can see this is, a, this is a nice way to figure out what's still chilling on your system. Now, let me go ahead and take a look at the disk or the D drive and see what's on there. So we got 541 gigs in Steam library, 159.7 gigs in Xbox games. Wait, okay, so apparently this is what I talked about. I'm stupid when it comes to installing games. So apparently I installed Forza Motorsport on the C drive and I installed Forza Horizon 5 on the D drive because I am not very good at making sure I'm selecting the right drive when I'm installing crap. So that's what's kind of nice about being able to see where I put crap. Anyway, we got 23.5 gigabytes of backups. These are backups for all sorts of different things. You can see I got baby stuff, um, Maddie picks, a bunch of temporary looking files and stuff. So I've used that as kind of like, not really a junk drive, but a, I don't like leaving things that are important like family photos and all that stuff sitting on my main OS drive. I tend to copy them to multiple places just for redundancy, if you will. But this is a very, uh, powerful utility and it's very easy to use. I don't think it even needs much more ex explanation than to um, just to show you that it just orders everything by size and then you start looking through there. And then I think it's just very important that you don't 
start right click deleting things unless you know what you're deleting, especially hidden files and folders. Because you can, like I said, you can break your system pretty quickly and pretty easily. Um, the cool thing about this too is there's also this open location button. So let's say I want to go back into the OneDrive. I can highlight that and click open location. Boom. Then it opens it right within the, um, the file explorer. Now OneDrive, it basically just opens the OneDrive like executable. And then from there I can double click that and then see the stuff that's, that's currently in there. So Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. But yeah, you'll see some of these files that just look like a bunch of gibberish. A lot of the times these are files that, again, just don't go deleting things if you don't know what they are. Just use this as a visualization to order things by size and then start checking those things to make sure there are things you really want on your system. And then use something like Revo Uninstaller to ins uninstall programs because then it can go in and truly find the remnants of those programs that are left over. If you delete the program files from here and then try and run Revo Uninstaller and it doesn't see the executables or it's still in an installed application list within Windows, it won't go and find the remnants and then they'll just live on forever until you manually delete them, which then just opens you up to the liability of accidentally deleting things you don't want to. So there you go. That's tree size free, a obviously free utility. Uh, link is in the description below. It is by Jam Software and uh, I highly recommend everyone have this and then just kind of periodically keep an eye on it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, we'll keep looking for great utilities that are free and give you more control over your system and start sharing the ones we think so, that are best. Thanks for watching. If you have recommendations, put them in the comments below and maybe we'll start researching. See you in the next one.